I know from my own experiences of grief that telling our story and having our story heard is so important. It's definitely been a roller coaster um, of God, of all the highs and lows and most beautiful things in life and also some tragedy as well. So it's been a really mixed, mixed bag um, of challenges for us to, to meet. It is that complex mix of emotional and physical and, and mental challenges. My research is looking at the impact of suicide on firefighters. Many firefighters and many people have their own personal experience of suicide, whether they've been exposed to family or friends who have died by suicide, but also we've had many firefighters who've died by suicide, so the impact of a fellow firefighter dying, and also obviously the incidents that we attend, which often may involve suicide, and looking at how do all of those experiences come together to impact us. By understanding that better, then we can provide better programs of support to support firefighters. We know that postvention, so suicide postvention, which is the support we offer to people after they've been impacted by suicide, is a really vital part of suicide prevention. Hearing just all sorts of other people's stories as well about how suicide has impacted them gives me that broader perspective. I have my own experience, but also to hear other people's experiences and to hear how other first responders have been impacted throughout regional and rural Australia reinforces why I'm doing what I'm doing and the value of it. There's so much to be learned from the stories that we hear from real people with lived experience of suicide. One of the ladies there said that they'd had um, three suicides within that community in the last six months, and that community only had a few hundred people. I think being able to have that conversation and really realise the impact on communities of suicide, um, on their mental health and wellbeing, and then being able to share some of those resources, so important. We had a really difficult experience where we were cycling on the Nullarbor and we met a lovely, lovely young cyclist and we hadn't met any other cyclist so we had a little chat to him. He was full of enthusiasm and life. We went on to the next roadhouse and found out that he'd just been killed by a road train on his bike shortly after we met him. We were the last people to speak to him and, and so that obviously really impacted us. It made us think really long and hard about what we were doing and why. I certainly didn't learn how to do that well for the first half of my life. I think we all use many ways to numb those difficult emotions and difficult experiences. Now, I think it is meeting them and it is the struggle to make sense of those difficult experiences, whatever they are, and that process of acknowledging pain and grief and anger and guilt and shame and all those really difficult emotions and inquiring about them within yourself that enables you then to grow. I think when we, when we bury those things and suppress them and turn away from them, which I certainly did for many, many years um, after I lost my brother to suicide, that that is what's destructive. The value of my research is very much in how do we use postvention as prevention and I think on this trip it's really reinforced that because we've been through so many communities that have been impacted by suicide. It certainly has been challenging in many ways and I think with all of those things you don't really realise the worth until you finish, until you're able to reflect on all the experiences. We can empower ourselves to struggle with those really intensely difficult life experiences in a way that enables us to grow. And this trip has really just been kind of symbolic of that for me and I hope other people can take that as well. I think I've got over eleven, twelve thousand dollars now, so you know, even that on its own is is makes it worth it, um, let alone all the other you know, valuable conversations and um, things that I'm sure will come from it that we're not even aware of yet. 